Today we are comparing some features between Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio. Hi, welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey, I also call myself Dinosaur Mama, and today we are comparing three popular features that you find in Cricut Design Space to the, how they are in Silhouette Studio. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because a lot of people have been wanting to invest in Silhouette Studio, but they're nervous of making the jump from Cricut Design Space and over into Studio. And I can see why, because it is a little intimidating. There are a lot more features. And I wanted to start with just some basic stuff to show you that there are so many similarities and to get started, just start with stuff that you know. So I know this is different from my usual content. I don't have a craft this week. I might not have one next week, so I apologize, but I am going to try to bring you at least some sort of design space tutorial or studio tutorial. My goal is to try to teach you how to do everything in studio and everything in design space so that you master it. So I have to break everything down into little bits. Let's jump right into it. So the most frequently used feature or the one that was told to me was offset. So let's just start with in Cricut Design Space, how to use offset. It's actually quite an easy um, feature to use. So I'm just gonna write my name. We could even keep it at Cricut Sans. The bigger you have your text or image in Cricut Design Space, the uh, closer you can get your offset. So for example, if I did 0.25 when it was this big and I hit apply, and then I shrink it back down to here to about four, that's what it would look like. But if I did this same offset when it's already that size, that's how it looks. So this is one way to use offset. It is actually a pretty easy feature to use. I am gonna make this bigger again. You can also do inset, which is just a negative version of offset. It basically just makes an inline, right? So there is our other feature here. So it is super easy to use, I will say that. The bigger that you do it, the better. They do have the option between rounded corners and um, sharp corners. However, like I've tried to use it a few times on different shapes and I really haven't seen a huge difference. Let's try it with the square. Um, we'll make it a little bit bigger or smaller. I mean, so like I really don't see a huge difference in the corners there. Um, so I decided I was filming that and then I, I like went to go edit and I jumped back in. So the rounded corners, you have to be a, a certain space to get them to transfer, uh, to change into to pointed corners. So it does work. Um, it definitely has to be though a certain size. So like going in, we have no rounded corners, but coming out, we do have rounded corners. And then to get the sharp corners going out, you have to be at a certain size. So there is that um, in terms of, actually, no, you don't have to be at a certain size. So it just, the rounded corners, I guess, don't work on an inset but they do work on the offset. So there is that, I did figure it out. But now let's go over into uh, Silhouette Studio and see, see how it's used over there. So here I have my Silhouette Studio all set up. So again, I'm just gonna do a text, I will do my name. It's pretty similar font. Uh, I'm gonna make it bigger and I'm gonna just add a color in because I want you to be able to see it. Now for their offset, they actually have it right up top in Silhouette Studio, so you'll go and this will pop up your panel. And then it's super similar. Now their corners, you definitely can see a difference when you go in between, right? So this is gonna give you kind of like diagonal corners. So on my inset here, you can kind of see it. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better. There it is, it's the red. And again, each one is individual, which is nice. So now in terms of the offset, it's still that same thing where if it's bigger, you get a better offset. So there is that. However, I do definitely see a difference in the corner rounding and the corner limit. So if you're nervous about offset, it is pretty much the same over in Silhouette Studio. The next biggest feature that I was told is used is attach or group, um, which 
Attach and group are pretty similar. Uh, group makes it so that one image you can move around, but it doesn't change the colors, right? Which is nice to work with if you want to hide things, stuff like that. Whereas attach is going to keep the cut separate, but make it all the same color, which is nice when you're cutting on the mat, right? So let's talk about how you can do the similar thing over in Silhouette Studio. All right, so I have my two circles. You would highlight over everything and right up top you can group them and that's just gonna be like group over in design space so you can move these around and they are grouped now what's nice is when you go to send you can leave it here and you can go by fill and then have your machine cut each one individually and it will be on the mat where you want it to be but basically group and attach here are the same the only difference is when you go to send over to your machine you basically hide one of them totally the same over here with group now, my last one I wanna talk about is the combine panel. So of course we have weld, unite, subtract, intersect, and exclude. So let's go through our combine panel. So I have three pieces here. And we're gonna do the same thing over in Silhouette Studio. So the first one is weld. That's going to make one object. It is not changeable. The next one is going to be unite where you can still move everything around. So it does make everything the same color, but you can move these pieces. And then when you click off, it's going to make one piece. So if you go to combine and you undo unite, you can, right? If you hit merge layers at the bottom, I'll show it again. That makes that welds it. Subtract is going to take the top layers away from the bottom layer. So here it says merge and then undo, undo subtract. The last one is, or the next one is intersect and that's just going to be where the three overlap. If they have to have overlapping an overlapping space on all three. You can't just have two that are overlapping. And, and the last one is going to be exclude and that's going to be the negative space where they are overlapping. So what's nice is you can move these around, right? A little bit and then it will change um, as you grab them. So. I'm not gonna lie, I rarely use any of the other ones other than uh, other than weld. Now, in terms of slicing, right, you cannot slice three objects, you can only slice two. And slicing is going to give you um, all different pieces. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do all of this over in Silhouette Studio, and I think that they do it just a little bit better. All right, so let me grab my third disc here. First thing that I like about, um, Silhouette Studios is that it doesn't change the colors. I don't know why, I just I just enjoy that. All right, so we have our three overlapping and what you would do is while you're highlighted over them, you would go to your panel on the side right here. It is called the Modify panel. Weld is going to just be like Weld over in Cricut where it brings them all together. Subtract is going to be the same where it's going to remove the top two from the bottom, which means that it does matter what's on top for this one. Now subtract all is a little bit different. Subtract all is going to subtract, and I like, this is what I mean they do a little bit better. It's only going to subtract from the top down. So it's going to remove the circle from both, but it didn't see, it didn't remove this whole piece. I hope that makes sense. And then this one is removed there. So it kind of becomes like a puzzle, which is nice. Now the next one is intersect. And that one's just like intersect over on Cricut Design Space where it's gonna leave you with where it's overlapping just the three pieces. But what I like is that they also have crop and that's going to leave where each piece intersects. So it's gonna leave you with where all of them are overlapping. I hope that makes sense. So even if two pieces are just overlapping, it's gonna leave you with that piece. Now my favorite one is sort of like slice and it's called divide. So it's going to give you all these pieces here, but again, it's like a puzzle. It subtracted what was below it and now it has, it just leaves you with one piece of each whereas Cricut leaves you with like all the pieces. Um, and also again, it leaves you with all the different colors, which is nice. So that is how you would do all of those same functions from Cricut over into Silhouette. So if you've been nervous about trying out Silhouette Studio and you're not sure if you're gonna be able to make the transition, just remember to start small. Start with things that you know, like these functions. And I'm gonna to continue to make these kind of tutorials as well as Cricut Design Space tutorials and Silhouette Studio tutorials that will get you more comfortable in a simple way.
Thank you for joining me today as we went between the similarities of Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio. If you have features that you want to see next, please let me know in the comments. I am dying to help you out with this. I want you to make that switch so that you can start designing in Silhouette Studio. If you learned something today, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for new videos every week and share this with one of your crafty friends who has been a little bit nervous about making the investment into Silhouette Studio. I will see you soon in my craft room and stay crafty.